Is it Steve, Johnny? Steve is on line one. Steve, how can I help you? Clinton. That's correct. I just want to have a word with you, because um, do you remember, like, I think it was February last year, you, uh, a friend of mine, she went to a reading. Um, let me, let me, you did. Yeah, let me just go back. It's February of 2019, she went to a reading, a friend of yours. What was her name? Yeah, up, it was up in Cambridge. Her name was Helen. Yeah. I see an awful lot of people. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. What What did Helen want to know? What did I tell her? Okay, well, she wanted to know about someone called Reedy, yeah? It's, um... Reedy's not ringing a bell. Reedy. Yeah. That's his surname, that's, is it? That's, that's like his nickname. His nickname, Reedy. Helen wanted to know about Reedy. What did I tell her? What did I say? <laughs> well, basically, the, the fact is, right, uh, uh, this chap had gone, uh, he'd gone kind of off-grid. He wanted to get out of... Uh, a hustle yeah. and bustle of everything. So he took himself off to Thailand, yeah? Yeah, I know. I've, I've done the same, yeah? Yeah, get escape from the rigours of the 21st century, yeah. yeah. But the reason he had is because he's had a bit of a breakdown, yeah? Right, this is ringing a bell, yeah, yeah. So he chucked everything in, chucked his job in, right. got rid of his phone, email, everything, just wanted to escape to, like, the middle of nowhere. Right. And, you know, being a friend of his, she wanted to know exactly, you know, like, where he was, if he was okay. Right. And, um... And you told you told Helen he was dead. Well, hold on, just. <laughs> well, uh, well, I mean, I, I wouldn't have just said that out of the way. So she couldn't get in touch with him or something, and. Well, he, he, he got no he got no contact point. He got he got his phone. His his brother, right? Yeah. Because you told Helen that Reedy really <sighs> was dead. Right. His brother, right, had to had to go to his parents. And say, look, I need like three or four thousand pounds. Yeah. Not only the then they got re- they were told they'd have repatriation fees, yeah, like right. ten grand. Yeah. They'd have to fly him into Stansted. They'd have a local undertaker would have to bring the body back up to right. Cambridge, right? Right. Oh, over to like twelve and a half thousand, fourteen thousand pounds. They were looking at dealing. So, so can I just interrupt you there? Yeah. You know, if there's a, 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 a if someone does die abroad, that is that is what has to happen. If you are, if you are, I, 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 I'm sorry about this, it's not very Christmassy. If you die abroad, uh, th- th- there are certain repatriation fees that have to be paid, and you can be insured. And if this gentleman didn't have insurance, that's not my fault. Don't lay that at my door. I simply advise the girl that if someone has died, that, that maybe she should try to go go and, and get the body get the body back. I don't I don't see why I, I don't know why you're getting upset with me. Well, I'll tell you why I'm getting upset, yeah. because that put her family through hell, yeah. his family through hell. She's not got over it. She well, I'm sorry death does it. that to people. What do you want me to say? Well, I want you to say why you told her that this bloke was dead. Well, well, she had to find out sometime, didn't she? Well, she had to find out from me that he wasn't dead. What do you mean? Because I'm him. I'm Reedy. What, so you... Steve Reed. All right, so you did... So you weren't dead then? No, I was trying to get away so that I could have some kind of solace after a nervous breakdown. Right, okay. And then I find out that my brothers have to come out there. He's, 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 my mum and dad have now had to let their flat out so that he's got a repatriation fee for a food that doesn't need to bloody happen. Right, okay. So, well, it's a miracle you are still with us and that's joyous at Christmas, isn't it? And, and in a way, that's quite... I know you don't see it now, but it is quite Christmas. Christ rose at Christmas. No, well, it's it, not. It was Easter. Easter, yeah. Yeah. That's right, yeah. yeah. Again, wrong. S- wrong same, again. Same principle. Well, I'm d- delighted that you are still alive. And if 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 I'm, I was proved wrong at that about that, so be it. So, so, so be it that you're going to pay us. Seven thousand pounds. Yeah. Well, if you no, I, I don't. I, well, I didn't know. Well, maybe we cross wires. We cross. No, don't. No need for language, is there? Yeah, it fucking is. If no. you, you you come speak to my parents then about it. Yeah. Well, I, you, 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 fucking wanker. Well, no, that's not. Hold on, listen. Come on. A little bit of Christmas spirit. You're still alive, and that's something, isn't it? You're still but, alive. And, Spirit up, you are some bullshitter. Yeah, well, you're a fucking bullshitter. I'm telling you this. I'm saying it's a nice thing at Christmas, isn't it? All I'm trying to do is spread a bit of Christmas cheer, and you found me spoiling my show. I'll just say one thing. Just just, just don't leave us in a, in, in this high dudgeon. Just a simple happy you, Christmas would be nice. I did my best for you, your friend, Helen. Take your fucking oh. Christmas trip. Pick it right up your fast, you fucking prick. Well, that's a real shame, isn't it? Let me tell you something. People have got this podcast and they like it and it's spiritual. 
There's yeah, no need for that sort of fucking language. Phoning me up. know the truth about you. You yeah. fucking turn around stirring shit up in people's lives. You're a fucking liability, oh, mate. Oh, that's charming, isn't it? This Yule Tide. Right, cut him off, Johnny, please. Where's he gone? And the other thing you can do as well, oh. you can stick your fucking podcast oh. up your ass. That's oh. a piece of c- shit c- as well. Trade him down. Cut him off. Right, just see if he's... Wasting everyone's time. Bullshitting people. It's enough comment with her. Don't need another fucking two-piece like you, you fucking wank. Just cut him off. Can you see... I know he's phoned in. Surely you can cut him off. I know. So he phoned in. I've got to wait for him to put his phone down. Oh, you paid for the phone call as well then. Right. Turn him down. Cut him off. Right. Do you think he's still there, Johnny? I am still here. And I tell you what, Chris was like, time when people are on their own. Or, yeah, why are you a... spoiling it for them? I'm trying to help people. But stop, you stop spoiling their fucking lives. Well, I'm life. not. I'm, I'm, I'm a welcome, uh, welcome company for some people who want to listen to this, and people are very spiritual at Christmas, and you're ruining it, and you're pulling the rug from underneath them. Because you know you've been caught. You've been banged to rights, you fucking phony. No, I'm... Listen, you would fucking go off halfway around the world without taking a mobile phone. That's your lookout. And you got a lot of people at home worried about you, and Jim's <laughs> simply asking me... <laughs> Fucking Phineas Fogg, you prick. Like, you go, anyone can go off around the world, can't they? They're fucking funny. It's up to them what they do. Yeah, will you fuck off back there then and fucking leave me alone? Get back to Catman fucking do. I fucking come round to your place and I find you there, mate. I'll oh. fucking do your nothing. Yeah, well, I tell you what. If you do decide to come round here, take a fucking mobile phone with you so people know where you are. They won't be so worried about you. And I'll tell you what, you come round here, they shouldn't be fucking worried about because I'll batter you, you cunt. Call- 